Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome to Mac Break Studio. I'm your host, Brian Gary. I'm here once again with Mark Spencer. Hey, Brian. We uh, talked in a previous episode about keyboard shortcuts in general. You also schooled us on a little vocabulary. You threw down <laughs> tessellate. That just made me all tingly inside. Um, and I did actually went and I looked it up. I was good. Did you look it up? Anyway, um, I actually started using some of those keyboard shortcuts. I found them very helpful. Uh, but there were some things I wanted to customize because, you know, like an Avid editor wants to customize Final Cut sure. to be more like Avid. I want to make motion more like Final Cut because those are the keyboard shortcuts yeah. I know. Can I do it? You can absolutely do that. In fact, there's a bunch of stuff you can do. Can I tessellate it? Um, if that's what you want to do, <laughs> you know, on your own time and your privacy of your own, you just you go for it. I am not judgmental at all about that. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Okay. Um, the first thing is you mentioned make it uh, like, kind of like Final Cut Pro. Yeah. If you go into the Motion menu, there's a Commands menu, and then there's this option. There's actually a Final Cut Pro set. Oh. So there's a, a preset set of keyboard shortcuts that are supposed to be similar to Final Cut Pro. Uh-oh, um, I heard an operative word in well, there. Well, yeah, yeah, they, they will do some similar things. But okay. rather than grab it from there, I'm going to go to Customize here. Okay. Because if I choose Commands Customize from the Motion menu, I get this Command Editor, which looks similar to what you get in, in Final Cut, right? But, but, you can, but with colors. With colors, yeah, some beautiful colors. It's really kind of a neat thing here. It's got all the little modifier keys up top. And one thing you can use this for is just to look through it and see what keyboard shortcuts there already are that you're not using. Uh, just you can select a key and like a C and see oh C is a circle tool and command C is copy and shift C is view color channels you know there's a lot of good information in there but you can also modify this if you go up to this pop-up menu up here you could choose Final Cut Pro set and choose a language and it will do a few things like Final Cut the the thing that uh, that I checked right out of right is JKL right you know I wanted JKL and it does JKL but L just goes forward one frame. Oh, so it doesn't do, play. I have to do lots of L's. Yeah, lots of L's. Yeah, yeah just there and tap, yeah. right. It, it, exactly 29.97 frames <laughs> per second to, to really do exactly a Final Cut. But it, it, it matches Final Cut a little bit. But what I want to do is customize. So the theme here is like I want to add a keyboard shortcut for something I do a lot. Right. And there's no existing keyboard shortcut for it. For instance, if I go under the main menu commands here, which are all the menu commands along the top of the interface, and I choose File, there's this option for removing unused media. And this is something I frequently do. I add a bunch of stuff to a project, I build something up, and then I want to delete, you know, even though you take stuff out, you can still have a list in your media tab of media that's not part of your project. Right. And if that's there when you like bundle up, when you do a save as and consolidate media, you're including all the stuff you don't want. Okay. So you have to manually go to that tab, select it all and delete it, but rather you can do this uh, command here and let's do it with a keyboard shortcut. So what you can do is, it starts with R, so I'm going to click on the R, and this shows me all the different keyboard shortcuts already assigned mm -hmm. for the letter R with modifier keys. And I notice like Control Command doesn't have one. So I'm just going to drag removed unused media over here and let go. And it says, I can't do it because it won't let me modify the standard set. Right. So what you have to do first is go up here and choose duplicate. And that will allow you to create a copy. Sure. Now, I've actually already done that. I'll choose Customize Shortcuts. That's what I named it. And now I should be able to drag that over there. And uh, I've got it in there. So now if I hit Control Command, it will automatically bring in, let's just close this, uh, Control Command R, let's say I want to save that. Control Command R should bring up that, that uh, function and allow me to do that. Right. So you can map any command that shows up in motion mm -hmm. to a keyboard shortcut. Okay. okay, not rocket science, but useful. Now, here's I also noticed a, a search field in there too. So if you don't know exactly what you're looking for, does it kind of look like or work like a, a Final Cut's search field? Absolutely. You yeah. can go in and search for any commands in here and find something. Okay. Now, what I found even more interesting is that you can assign a command to something that doesn't exist in one of the menu items. And I'll give you an example. One thing I do a lot is apply a fade-in, fade-out behavior, mm -hmm. right? It's something, uh, one of the most common behaviors. It's sort of like a crossfade in Final Cut. Sure. But in order to apply it, when something's selected, you have to click the Add Behavior icon and choose Basic Motion, Fade-in, Fade-out, or drag it from the library. Right. You can actually make a keyboard shortcut to do this. Oh, okay. Okay, it doesn't exist under any of these menus up here, but you can still do it. 
and, and here's how, I, I love this. This is a really cool thing here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add it to my project. I'll hit F5 so I can see it. And um, there it is. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the library and I'm gonna go down to Favorites Menu. And I'm gonna drag that fade in, fade out behavior to the Favorites Menu. Okay, so okay. now it is a part of one of the... Yes. Okay. So now it shows up under Favorites, Fade in, Fade out. Now, if we were gonna go back to that command editor, we would not see it there. Okay. So it's like, okay, well that's great, but now it won't show up in the command editor. How can I make a keyboard shortcut out of this? But before you go on, could yeah. I also move uh, filters and anything can that, what can be favorite? Anything, anything, anything okay. can be favorite. A okay. group, um, uh, layers, effects, oh, okay. anything can be a favorite. Group, but you can have multiple things be a favorite, all, all locked oh, up in like one a file. Okay, nice. Anything you want. So if you, like, if you have an animation that you like that you always want to add to projects, a bouncing ball or a set of filters that makes things glow mm -hmm. in a certain way that you've tweaked, save it as a favorite, put it in the favorites menu. Page peels. Uh, I love Yeah, let's peels. not go there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we were going to the we were going to the system preferences. It's page right? peels. I, there's yeah. actually no way to do a page peel in Motion that I that I know of, except with uh, some third party plugins. They have saved us yeah. yet again. So what I'm going to do is go to system preferences. This is where you can do this. So in system preferences, you go to keyboard, and then go to keyboard shortcuts, and then here under uh, application shortcuts, I'm going to click the little plus button, and I'll look at my list of applications and scroll down to the M's. There's Motion. And then you have to type in the exact menu title. Now, it was under favorites. You don't type that in. All I do is type in fade in, fade out. It has to be exactly case, the case way. Sensitive. Case sensitive. Okay. The space is everything. It has okay. to be that menu title. You don't have to say favorites in there because okay. it, it will look in all of them. And then I'm going to apply a keyboard shortcut here. I'll just say, let's say, uh, uh, shift Option Control F, just a bunch of keys there, because I think that I'm not using that already. So that's Option Shift Control F. I'll hit Add, and that adds it here in System Preferences. So now if I go back to Motion, and I'll just select a layer here, and I'll hit Shift Option Command F, boom. Wow. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, that is pretty cool. And in fact, let's see, if we go up under the Favorites menu, you can oh, see that yeah, keyboard that shortcut. Could, yeah. Mm -hmm. shows up there. So again, the theme is you've got repetitive tasks and how can you make them go faster? And this is a, a behavior that's probably used more than any other yeah. on a repetitive kind of basis. And once you kind of assign a keyboard shortcut to it, of course, you can select multiple items and hit it and it will add to all of those items just by keyboard shortcut. That's really cool. So just a quick tip on how you can either customize your keyboard or actually assign keyboard strokes to items that don't even show up in a menu. Very nice. Well, in the previous uh, uh, episode, we talked about just keyboard shortcuts in general, the, especially the stock ones. Now it's customizing your own, making your own workflow, and kind of that circuitous route back through the system preferences. So that yes, kind of yes. would work with other applications too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah any, any applications. Very nice. Now you also have training, you've got books. Tell us a little bit yep, about that. Yep, so I have, um, I have a new Motion 4 training out that mm -hmm. covers the entire Motion 4 application, mm -hmm. and you can find out about it at RippleTraining.com. Very nice. Well, thanks again for watching MacBreak Studio. I'm here with Mark Spencer, and I've been your host, Brian Gary.